And in a way, dipping your toe into that water allows you to get a little closer to maybe in real life being those things, you know. I haven't seen Sam drawing my hair long, it's eagle feathers and face paint and a French accent, man. Um, but uh, well, I have some copies, actually, um, of Hawkeye. And I don't have them here, they're back at my house. Um, well, I'll tell you, I, 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 didn't, I, I actually had thought that I was going to be commuting back and forth um, of every night of the convention. I'd ended up staying here. Um, for the whole time, just to really be able to focus on, on the time that I have, and even that seems too short. Um, but I'm kind of, I was wondering about even, you know, including them in the auction or whatever, because I'd like to get them out to the people who haven't, haven't had a chance to see them. One of the things that I've been um, trying to, thinking about uh, setting up, Paul and Buddy and I were talking about it from last year, is a kind of a lending library type thing, where um, folks who are interested in shows that I've done, uh, that they haven't seen, that we build an archive. Also, really, ultimately, the goal is for my daughter um, to have all my stuff because it meant so much to me as a child, to, and, and certainly even more as a grown-up. I can see my mother in her 20s, moving and talking and, and, and looking beautiful. I mean, it's such an extraordinary thing. It's not like home movies at all, you know. And you can, I literally can see my parents through all the stages of their lives. Uh, so I'm trying to do something similar for, for Ty. Um, and we would basically sort of set up a thing where if anybody saw something that was on, they'd uh, tape it, um, and we'd make copies for, one, for anybody that was interesting and set up a situation where basically we all, including me and Ty and Kate, had access to some of the stuff um, that, uh, myself included, uh, as well as Let's start any time that you see something that's, that's on TV, because a lot of the time stuff shows um, in different parts of the states that doesn't show in LA. Um, if you'd be sweet enough to tape it, we'll pay you for the tape cost or whatever is involved. Um, and get in touch with Paulette, and uh, we'll start it right now. The Lending Library. Buddy, 
um, I never had any interaction with fans and fan mail. I saved every single letter I got. Uh, so, you know, my heart was in the right direction, but I, you know, basically didn't know how to, how to organize it. And um, when I was down in uh, Waco, I was so impressed with Paul and Buddy, first of all, as human beings. Uh, we had an immediate sympathico. And yeah, let's have a hand. I really felt instantly that they were they were people that I trusted completely, um, and I also saw the way that uh, the convention was organized, the care and meticulous courtesy and respect that they both gave every single individual, the willingness to go the extra mile every single time, and I said, listen, whatever we do together, we got to do something together, and it's been a joy for me. I have gotten back so much more than you guys can ever imagine. Um, it's become a, a valuable professional tool, to be honest, in a sense, because now we have some power. Um, it's become a tremendously satisfying personal experience. Um, I've made some wonderful new friends that will stay friends forever. Uh, and I know that a couple of times a year I'm going to get together with my extended family and we're going to party. Um, well, they're both obviously beautiful women. They're both obviously consummate professionals. Um, so in a sense, the similarities were more than the differences. Um, they're also obviously both their own, own unique and individual personalities. So of course there were many differences in, in terms of the people. Uh, but in terms of the actual work experience, oddly enough, it wasn't as similar. Um, in that they're, you know, were both wonderful to me and very gracious and, and uh, very caring people. And both very intelligent. Um, and that's always a refreshing thing. And, and for me, in terms of uh, working with somebody, but also in terms of responding to somebody, um, I think that humor and intelligence may be the two single most important things. Um, women who are, you know, considered absolutely Drop dead gorgeous. In most cases, do nothing for me. Um, on the other hand, I'll see somebody with a gleam in her eye and, and, and a gen generosity of heart that uh, takes my breath away. Uh, you know, so it's always wonderful to work with wonderful people, and in that case, the two were were very equal. <laughs> 